Micah has leukemia, and uh, we, we found out uh, November 3rd of last year. Leukemia, a diagnosis no parent wants to hear, but that's what happened to the Kester family of Boise. Three-year-old Micah is now battling ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. He has a long road ahead of him, but this, his family says, the community has rallied around them in a most powerful way. Our Maggie O'Mara shows us in this heartwarming edition of Seven's Hero. Well, you wouldn't know he's sick if you didn't know. Little Micah Kester seems like your typical three-year-old. He's a stubborn and uh, <laughs> rambunctious, as you can tell. But right now, he's fighting leukemia. He was acting sick for a couple, the last couple of weeks in October, and he just looked exceptionally <laughs> pale um, and just... It just didn't feel right. Which guy are you? We got here. Mom's intuition was right on. His doctor sent him to St. Luke's. His blood uh, results came back off the charts, so they knew right then. Yeah, I, suspect. I, I heard what the doctor was saying to me, but I, it just it didn't feel real. They moved fast. Since his diagnosis, he's had multiple chemo treatments. He's been poking prodded quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, just hasn't hasn't. Uh, reacted to the chemo quite as much as they would have liked. So we've got some other treatments um, that we're going to need to go through and bone marrow transplant um, at Seattle Children's Hospital. Finding a bone marrow donor for Micah will be their first priority. You're relying on the generosity of strangers. Yeah, pretty stressful being in a situation <laughs> where you're not sure if you are going to be able to find a donor and so the more people that are on the, the registry, the better, you know. That's where Be The Match comes in. Greg's co-workers started a cheek swab registration drive in honor of Micah's battle. Between that and our church, Crossroads Community in Nampa, and online people, over 100 people got um, signed up. It's kind of indescribable. Yeah. Uh, you just kind of lack the words. It's, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> But the Kesters say what happened in their neighborhood outside their house on a Sunday night this month truly blew them away. They thought they were shooting a video to promote Be The Match. Do you take a nap every day? No. No. <laughs> we were here thinking we were just uh, redoing the... Uh, shooting a couple clips and they yeah. had a uh, teleprompter set up yeah. that we were reading <laughs> off of. And We'd also like to say thank you to everyone gathered on our lawn right now for your support and kindness of the for this long journey. A group of friends enlisted the help of the pranksters to light the night for Micah and to pray for a miracle. Uh, Pretty sure we were ugly crying. <laughs> <laughs> it was overwhelming yeah. and humbling, but our front lawn was full of people that friends and family and and people we don't know. People from um, our daycare and church sure, and yeah. co-workers and yeah. yeah, it was it's pretty uh, overwhelming. The donations came pouring in to help with mounting expenses. Friends and family, even strangers, donated over twelve thousand dollars. It's so special to know how many people love him and and care for him and are praying for him. This family wants to say Thank you. It, it means so much to us and, and to Micah. Micah has a fight ahead. Wild penguin. A wild penguin. A game in penguin. But he's ready. He's, he's just so tough. Beep, 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 beep. This strong little boy and all of these people who gathered to support his family on that special night are Seven's heroes.